Good morning. Derek and I are going for a bike ride this morning and I don't want to have anything too crazy so I'm going to eat some of these longans and rambutans and I am going to just mix a little bit of this pineapple juice with a little bit of this mango juice just because I don't really want to have like a huge smoothie or I'm going to have to pee like a racehorse on a ride and I don't have any time to make potatoes but I think I am going to put some potatoes in the Instant Pot so that I can have them when I get back. On my mountain bike, I can go no hands, but show off. So this is what I'm having for lunch. Same thing as yesterday, if you've been watching the vlogs. This is steamed potatoes, there's three or four. Steamed broccoli and then this vegan cheese sauce with some cayenne pepper and black pepper on top. I am so excited to eat this. Our bike ride this morning was an hour. We did one hill climb which i beat my last time by 40 some seconds thank you and <laughs> it killed me again um but today is actually our friend's birthday and they're having a little get together during the day so we're going over there in probably 40 minutes and they're gonna have food and a bunch of snacks and all kinds of stuff i just didn't want to have to be really hungry when I'm there and eat a bunch of chocolate and snacks and crackers and stuff. I'll probably still eat a little bit there. I'm definitely gonna have a glass of wine there and yeah I'm just eating this because obviously I have not eaten anything except for a few pieces of fruit and some uh, juice but this looks so good. Look at this like oh I just can't be vegan. It's like could you eat this every day because I could.
good morning guys i just did my 5k run or what is it called couch to 5k and this week it was five minute warm-up run for 90 seconds walk for 90 seconds run for three minutes walk for three minutes and then you repeat that i'm not gonna lie the three minute run was kind of hard for me but i haven't run in two days um yesterday was sunday and i didn't vlog because I think I'm gonna take Sundays off from doing anything because I basically work every single day and I just need one day where I'm not like vlogging and editing and things like that. Just one day to chill and get ready for the new week. So I'll be vlogging what I'm eating six days a week and exercise. But also on Sundays, I don't do any exercise. It's just gonna be my rest day. Unless we decide to go for a bike ride, like it's nice outside or something, but I won't be doing any runs on Sunday or anything like that. So before I did my run, I put some potatoes in the Instant Pot, and now I'm gonna steam some broccoli and cauliflower. I'm just waiting for my broccoli and cauliflower to cook. I'm gonna eat this, whatever this is called. I think it's called a sugar apple. But it's very interesting because the outside just like comes off like this. Look how easy that is. And it's super sweet, but it's also very creamy. Not really sure how you're even supposed to eat this thing. <laughs> it's kind of messy. I think you just eat it like this. Hmm. If anybody knows what this is. Oh no. These are the little parts that you eat. You gotta be careful because there's seeds on the inside. So you kind of just suck the flesh of it off. Okay, so I actually decided last minute to do half of the potato cheese sauce and then half curry sauce because I can't live without the potato cheese sauce. It's just... Potatoes, broccoli, and cheese sauce is the best combination in the world. So I put half with this Vindaloo curry. And then half with this cheese sauce. I just bought more of this on Amazon. It is kind of expensive because I think they're a startup. But I don't really care. It's great for when I'm lazy and I don't have time or feel like making my own cheese sauce. And this is about what 500 grams yeah a pound of potatoes and then um like half a bag of broccoli and cauliflower mix so this is a lot of food like i wish you guys could feel it because it's very heavy i wonder how much this weighs let's see i just kind of want to see how much this bowl weighs like how much my meals are what does that say I need three pounds. Yeah, three pounds. I don't know how much the bowl weighs, though, so it's not super accurate. So, if you watched my last vlog, we went to my friend's house because it was her birthday. Her name's Yvonne, she's our neighbor, and um, she's German. She made this really good potato soup that I ended up having like three bowls of, and I'm gonna try and remake it. I also just realized that from the last clip earlier, I had all this like, you know, that arrowroot powder that you put on your scalp when it's kind of um, oily. It was like, I dumped it on my head and I didn't rub it in or whatever. <laughs> I was just editing the clips. So I'm like, that looks ridiculous. I also don't have any makeup on today, which I feel like most of these videos are going to be me with no makeup, but whatever. That's just the way that... It is, I don't really care, you know. So we're gonna make this potato soup. She kind of gave me the gist of what she does. So basically, um, she just uses potatoes, peeled potatoes, and um, steams them and then mashes them with soy milk. And I think she cooks onions and garlic first. Well, at least that's what I was gonna do. So I'm gonna weigh out 1500 grams or three pounds of potatoes because she kind of told me a rough estimate and then peel them chop them while that while i'm doing that i'm going to um saute some like an onion and some garlic and some water and then i'm going to add in the potatoes with some more water boil it 
I think. Um, and then add in soy milk at the very end. So I'm going to add in just like seasoning, so probably some salt, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, make it a little spicy. I don't know, I've never made this, but it was really good when she made it. She basically just said it was mashed potatoes, but she thinned them out. So, we'll see. done I'm just going to blend it and then add in some soy milk I don't know if I'll add all this soy milk in here there's not that much room and then I was going to add in garlic salt nutritional yeast some dill cayenne pepper and some of this Greek seasoning blend having a little bit of soup to try it out I'm gonna have some more later for dinner probably with some avocado toast but I tried some and it's really 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 good I feel like this soup could be really versatile too by just changing the spices but it's really low fat really filling For a little after dinner snack, I am going to have some of these dates. These are the best dates. They're actually from a company called 7hotdates.com and they make these like wet pack dates so they're, they don't dry them out. And they're frozen, these are frozen because I need to keep them, I put them in the freezer but I'm going to leave them out of the freezer. Um, these are Zahidi dates. I think these are Deglet dates, honey dates, and then Medjool dates. So I'm going to eat a bunch of these. I like these ones a lot because they're really dry. So I'll probably eat a bunch of these. I'll eat some of these. Just gotta work my way through this box. I also bought a 10 pound box of Medjool dates from them. And then I'm also making a hot chocolate. So I have some coconut sugar, cacao powder. This is a shroom mix. It's just like reishi, cordyceps, lion's mane. It's called the Sacred 7 Mushroom Mix on Amazon. Got some soy milk put all of that in here and then I just froth the soy milk in this little milk frother. Look how frothy that is. It like won't even come out. 